Hey everybody, how's it going? Tim Eister here and welcome back to Gasparilla County. We're one episode into this series and I'm already off to a little bit of a shaky start. As you can see up here, we have a lot of abandonment going on. A lot of businesses downtown are complaining of not enough customers or high resource costs and people are complaining of high rent. But to top it all off, half the map is on fire as well. So before things get out of hand here, I'm gonna pause the game and we're going to have to address some of these issues. The most pressing issue I would say is these fires, especially that we have one starting up over here near town. So what I'm going to start by doing is plopping a firefighting helicopter depot. And this is uh, going to solve, hopefully, the issue of these random fires sprawling up uh, all throughout the map. And this is just because the map is so densely packed with trees. Uh, I, it's just the thing in City Skylines 2. So let's get started with that. And then we will get into all the other issues that are plaguing the city. Um, so for the firefighting depot, I've actually chosen this location over here. This big plot of land. It's a little bit out of town, not in the way of anything. So uh, we're going to go ahead and plop it over here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to build a little road coming out from over here and then the road will make a right turn sort of parallel to the railroad tracks I guess this is this is probably fine and then let's go here to build some proper turning lanes so we'll make a left turn here and I guess I'll make a right turn Oh, actually, hang on. I think what I'll do here is make like a four lane. So you can make a right or a left turn. Yeah, that's actually nice. I'll just get rid of some of these big trees here in the median. I don't really want any trees there. And then I will go up into Primrose Lane. And I'm going to start to get rid of some trees here. Because naturally, when you have aircraft coming in and out of an area, you want the least amount of obstacles as, as possible, especially trees. So, just going to get rid of a bunch of trees here, maybe a little bit on this side as well. Oops. Uh, I think that should do it. That's probably fine. There, and helicopter depot. Actually, I think I'm going to put it sideways. Yeah, I'll just build a road going up to here, I guess. And then the helicopter depot will go right. Right here, right in the middle. There, so let's hit play. And then these helicopters should start spawning. Oh, that's weird. I thought there, there should have been like paint markings on uh, on the ground. That's weird. Hang on, I'm gonna put another one. Oops. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. Weird. What if I put it? Uh, what if I put it here in the other direction? Okay, yeah, this one has paint. That is strange. Okay, well, I guess uh, this is the new spot <laughs> for the helicopter depot. So let's hit play here, and they should begin to spawn in just a second. Yep, there they go. Off to fight all the fires in the region. It looks like... I don't know where this one's going. This guy appears to be going to this big old fire here. And what the heck? None of them seem to be going over here next to the town like this is this is the fire that's threatening the town oh shoot i gotta provide water to this building now uh okay so for power what am i gonna do here we got this underground line here um actually i think i know what i'm gonna do i'm going to run an electrical cable a power line from town I guess I'll just start it here for now. Oh, I wish I could see the roads. It would make it so much easier. Here, let me hit play so then I can at least see the vehicles moving. 
So I'm gonna run a power line adjacent to this highway here. That's not really a highway. Oh, does this actually fit under the bridge? Oh, nice. That's good, okay. And then this power line will turn with the road and go off into the distance. There we go. And then what I simply have to do here is go underground and then connect up this little road to our power lines. And I think I got to hook this up on the other end here. Yeah. There. So that will provide power to this area. And for water, I think what I'll do here is just run a pipe in the median of this highway, the high highway. <laughs> I gotta change the name of that. I gotta find uh, what highway this looks like in Florida and name it accordingly. Cause I'd like some of the roads to be accurate. There we go, so. This whole area is being fed water and power now. And I think what I want to do here as well, I want to uh, maybe plop some industries as well because my demand is quite high for industries, but I don't want any like big factories and stuff like that to sprawl up in this mini industrial zone. So I'm just going to keep the zones very small. I just want like some small warehouses maybe to spawn. Nothing like too crazy. It'll be like a mini industrial park. But what I could do as well, I was thinking, I have signature buildings that I could plop down that would help with the issues that we are facing right now. So I'm gonna go over those issues in just a second, but the gist of what is going on here in town is there's just not enough jobs, right? Um, so that's why I was thinking over here, would be a good spot for a dairy house, for example, because all of this, all this land here, this is all gonna be cattle country. It's all gonna be agriculture land, cattle farming, all that kind of stuff. So I think just to get things started, I will put a cattle farm here, or a, a dairy farm rather. Uh, but here, let me get myself set up. I'm gonna build a road parallel to the highway. I think this should do. And then I'll just bring it in. It's like so. Uh oh, did I just break everything? I think it's good. Signature buildings and poof. There is our dairy house. Perfect to get us started. And then I think for good measure here, my demand is going down a little bit. So these little zones are actually, they're helping out. There, I'll make just like a mini industrial park. I don't know if I can, I don't seem to have any office demand right now, but this might be a good spot eventually for some office buildings as well. There, there we go. A nice mixture of everything. Cool, that actually blends in well with uh, the surrounding environment. Nice. All right, so let's head back into town here. I'll have a lot of work to do. So, like I showed you earlier, uh, we were facing a lot of abandonment. It looks like a lot of these houses have become abandoned, but they're, they're rebuilding, uh, only to probably become abandoned again at some point. But I think what the issue is, all of the buildings that are becoming abandoned are these large lots here, these big three by fives and four by fives or whatnot. And what's happening is these lots are very expensive to, to, to upkeep, right? Operating costs are higher, uh, property taxes are gonna be higher. So the only people who can really afford to live in these houses are more well-off citizens who have high paying jobs, which there is a total lack of here in Gasparilla. Now, what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is provide some better education opportunities because right now the highest level of education that you can achieve in town is elementary school, right? So that's not really gonna get you a good job. So I'm gonna pause the game real quick here and let's look at 
what we can do to potentially fix this issue because I want to entice people to move in here so we can get some really nice neighborhoods to sprawl up. So what I'll have to do is um, at least build a high school for now and um, maybe a college afterwards because yeah, look at my demographics here. More than half of my population is poorly educated. So yeah, that's not going to get us some very good, um, some very good high paying jobs in town. So what I am going to do right now is plop a, I'm going to go ahead and plop a high school, but a high school is pretty big. I got to be careful here where I put it. I think I might actually put it on the other side of this uh, Concord Street. So I'm going to extend this road out this way. And then what I'll do is I think I'm just going to put the high school right here by these railroad tracks. So I'll go ahead and plop it right on the street corner. And I may as well just fully upgrade it except an extension wing. I don't really need that for now. I'm not expecting this to uh, become full capacity just yet. And then the track and field. Um... Yeah, you know, I guess I'll just put it in the back here. And then uh, we can have... Oh, shoot. Did I not, like, perfectly put it? Yeah, I didn't perfectly put this. Let me move it. Uh, I'm going to move it a little bit to the side here. And then I'm going to build a road. Because the zones don't really line up perfectly. So now if I put my zone, I can move this building again. Which probably costs money every time. Uh, here, I'll turn snapping off and I'll just bunt it as close to the road as I possibly can. There, that's a lot better. Perfect. And now I think in the back here, maybe I can fit some sort of stadium, maybe an American football stadium. Oh my God, it actually fits perfectly. Wow, that's cool. What about a soccer field? No. Actually, I thought... Yeah, there, okay, so there already is a football field within this track and field, so maybe what I'll do instead is uh, just a soccer field, I think, should be okay. So I'll build a little street in the back here. This could potentially be the area that the bus comes to drop off the students. It's usually like in a loop-type fashion like that. And... There we go, look at that. This soccer field fits just perfect. It couldn't be more snug than this. Now that is one fancy high school. This is gonna it's gonna be the best high school in the whole region. And then I'll have a road going out back here. And then I'll have a little road segment in a loop, just like this. And you know what? I'm going to spend a minute or two just decorating this area. Why not, right? Invalid shape? What? Why? Why is it an invalid shape? There. Actually, I'll do this and then I'll just make another little path here and should I make maybe like an X like this well, that looks kind of cool and um, you may have noticed guys but I'm actually playing with mods now as you can see I've got move it installed if I go into my landscaping menu here you can see that I've got some extra landscaping tools so I'm able to plop down any um, resource that is in the game and I also have my water tools now which I'm excited to use because I got to fix this river um, the problem with this river is I only have water spawners out here in the ocean and it's basically pushing the water into this bay and I think it's just it's just not getting to here right I think there's more water coming out than there is going in because I have all these little islands here that are spawning 
right? These used to be like sandbars that were kind of just really shallow under the water like these, um, but they've uncovered themselves and they've become islands. And as you can see, this little stream here is completely dried up. There's just nothing left. So with these water tools, I, uh, I intend to fix my river, bring it back to life. Maybe I'll work on that later this episode, but I have a lot of other things to worry about first before doing that. So let's, uh, let's keep going here. Uh, I'm going to build some crosswalks in the back here. There, and along with all the mods that I'm playing with, I've actually also enabled the dev mode, which allows me to place any prop in the game, vehicles, buildings, whatever I want, I can plop here. So I'm gonna be making use of this as this series goes along. So here, let's say I wanna place a gazebo. So let's see here what kind of gazebos we have. We have a small one, we have another small one. We have, oh, it looks like a, a fancier one, or I can just choose a random one. So let's go ahead and maybe plop a couple of those. Um, do we have any like picnic tables maybe? Yeah, these are like, what are these? Oh yeah, they're like little tables. Table set. Yeah, even this would be pretty cool. Um. Portable toilet. Yeah, I guess no uh, no picnic tables. But there was one of these that looked pretty cool, I guess. Like these ones here. Yeah, maybe I can just plop a couple. Provide some outdoor seating for the students. And yeah. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to plop maybe a couple of... palm trees here and also this is really cool guys so using the tree controller mod I'm actually able to plop trees immediately fully grown using this mod right you can just choose the age of your tree so I can go elderly adult teen or child and uh, you know I can just go ahead and plop some fully grown palm trees if I want to there I think that's good for now I don't want to overdo it with the trees but there it is. Now I think in the back here, this would be a good opportunity to maybe put some parking for this stadium. I just have some wasted space in the back here. So this would be a fantastic opportunity to plop at least a couple of parking lots maybe. And this is gonna contribute to the overall parking capacity of the town so actually would this one would this have fit if I put it here yeah it would have fit so there I'll just do this and I'll put a bigger parking lot there we go actually can I move it over by one no it's not happy can I move it over by one if I turn off snapping There, now it's happy. There, so I've got a parking lot here. And then I think I'm just gonna fill in this little empty space with a store. There, so let's hit play. Oops. And there we go, there is our fancy high school, right, right in the middle of town. Very nice. So students should begin to start pouring in here. And I'm actually surprised if I check my elementary school, I can't believe that it's not full. But I suppose there's no way for it to be full anyway because there's only 1,300 people in the entire town, so. <laughs> there, all right, so at least there's better educational opportunities now in town. Now the next issue I have to deal with is, um, well, it looks like the abandonment issue is kind of dealt with itself. You know, I've got some bigger lots here rebuilding, but I'm afraid that they're just gonna become abandoned again. Like, see, this place is abandoned, zero residents. Yeah, all of these smaller lots are okay. 
So what I am going to do now is build a big commercial area over here along this main avenue here along US 41. Uh, I am going to build some large shopping areas. Now retail is fine, right? It's jobs, but it's they're not necessarily the, the most high paying jobs, right? So we're not gonna get any like super fancy high paying jobs out of uh, out of these retail spaces. But just to get us started, I can at least begin by placing um, some stores, right? There, so let me get an avenue to go through here. And I will connect it up to this one over here where the fire is, which I am surprised is still raging. Oh, look at that. We actually have some fire trucks that are pulling up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. There's still a lot of fires. Holy, is my is my helicopter depot here not really doing the trick? Vehicles in use. Well, I suppose there's only five helicopters. Maybe I should plop a second one. Because we got a lot of fires going on. I might... I think I'm just going to go ahead and place a second one. I mean, I know I got to watch my, my income a little bit. Hmm. I don't really have the room for it. Well, I do, but... Okay, I'm going to put a second one. Oh, that's weird. There. All right, now we got 10 helicopters. Now we're talking. Now these fires are gonna go away. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on a commercial shopping area over here. Now this intersection, I'm gonna have to do something about. Is this two intersect? Yeah, this is totally two intersections. Yeah, it is. I think this might be a problem, guys. I hadn't really thought of this, but this might be a problem. So, along these main these main roads here in Florida, usually you would have like one set of lights for this entire intersection, but that's not going to be possible here. So, I think what I'll have to do is maybe to convert this into like a 2 by 3 type intersection. Just want to test it out here. So if I do something like this, and then like this, and then I would have like a road in the middle, like this. Oops. And then it would go back into like highway mode. Like this. So that would work, but then I, I couldn't have like a median if I did that. Hmm. All right, well, no big deal. I think what I'll do is instead of just, as long as there's no lights, right? If there's no traffic lights, then I should be okay. It's gonna make this intersection a little bit more dangerous, but it's just a part of living life, right? So if I do this and then I do that, oh, see, it won't let me do this. It won't let me add left turn lanes because these intersections would be on top of one another. What if I turn anarchy on? No go, okay. Oh my God, the little chirper icon even turns red. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, here's, I'm gonna try something. I am going to pause the game, remove this segment. I'm going to convert this into a three laner. And then what might work is if I do this and just manually scooch it over ever so slightly. Look at that. I think we can make that work. And then what I'll do is I'll go in the middle here, remove these sidewalks. I think I'll remove these as well. And as long as people can get across, that's, that's the main thing. But yeah, I think that should work. Look at that, guys. That's wonderful. 
Like, isn't that like, there's nothing more Florida than seeing this, a giant wide avenue just cutting right through the town with these, these medians and turn lanes, very nice. Now at this point, you're probably wondering to yourself, how the heck am I gonna line stores along this road here? This is a highway. Well, the only way to really do that without mods, um, there's none that exist now to put zones along highways. Um, the only alternative is to do this. So to run a road parallel to the highways, leaving a little median in the middle here, maybe with a couple of connections. Oh, well, not there, but you know, a few connections here and there like this. And then I can lay down some stores boop, alongside the highway. So this, it, it works. It's kind of a mess of intersections that are really close to each other. And you know, it's probably gonna cause some congestion, uh, but I can help here by removing uh, some of the lights as well as intersections or uh, sidewalks. There, and I can maybe add some sidewalks here, allowing people to walk there. And uh, that's the gist of it, really. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Just like this, I'll add a couple of other entrances. I guess it doesn't have to be symmetrical either. Here, I'll put one like, Go in here instead. Just, I don't know, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. And uh, I kind of like these actually. These are really nice little, little lanes. I don't have to name them anything. Can I like have no name? Oh, I have to have a name. Okay, well, it's all right. <laughs> all right, and what I will do is in behind these big lots that are in the back here, I'm gonna start to build out some little residential areas using some little alleyways. There, start off a little something like that. And I will go in with my zoning here. Oh, actually I want stores to line this road. This is a main avenue here. Pretty much like a big arterial road, so I want stores to be there. But everything in between will be single family homes. Now, I don't really have any demand right now. That's one of the biggest problems I've been facing so far in this series is it's difficult to get a lot of demand for certain things, right? As much as I want to play the game in a sort of like city painter style where I just build whatever I want, um, I still have to play the game, right? Um, so I'm kind of at the mercy of what is in demand by the residents of town. I got some room for some extra little stores here as well. And in the corner here, there. All right, so things are shaping up. Another thing I wanted to do, so it doesn't matter what I do, my city is just adamant it wants some high density and medium density residential demand now there's not going to be any high density here i can assure you of that but i can at least build some medium density and i think the way to do that is to come here into my residential signature buildings and i think i can maybe squeeze in a mid-rise skyscraper here by the water i think i'm gonna try to build this waterfront here i just did something quick and uh, I think I can do a better job here because look, looking at the Fort Myers waterfront, you know, there's parks, there's marinas, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So I think I'm going to build a little something like that here right now. And, uh, and we'll spruce up the waterfront a little bit. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But I want to build a seawall here somehow. I don't know how this is gonna work out. But I think if I flatten out this here, and then maybe a little bit here, there, and essentially what my goal is, I maybe wanna move this skate park and have 
our big old, well, not a huge skyscraper, but our medium sized skyscraper along the water here. Uh, oh, okay, it works like this. And then let's see if I can make a 90 degree turn here. Oh yeah, it looks like I can, sort of. Here, I'll have to flatten this out underwater a little bit, I think. If I do this, is this going to work? Not really. Here, let's, maybe it's because it's not deep enough. Let's do this. I suppose it has to be deep enough for boats, right? So I can clear out this much there. There we go. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, there. I got it. Uh, can I bring it down? No, I guess I got to bring it up to 2.5 meters. I'll try to get it as straight as I can. Yeah, there we go. And then... Well, actually, I think... Can I hook this up over here? It looks like I probably can. Kind of, sort of. All right, whoo, that was a struggle. There, so I think now I can fit my building here. I'll just have to turn off snapping and I gotta try to shove it. Kind of in the middle here. I think I'll put it right about here. You know what? That looks all right. Not bad at all. Now, with the help of move it, I am going to raise this a little bit just so it's more more uniform, I guess. Actually, I'm going to lower it and I'll just lower this corner instead. Yeah. There. Just because I was forced to, uh, to put this at a little bit of a higher... there. I was forced to put this road up to 2.5 meters. But uh, yeah, look at this, guys. Wow, with the power of move it, everything is possible. Look, now we even got bushes clipping into roads now. It's crazy. There, get rid of that. And there we go. There's a little waterfront. And then uh, actually what I'll do here in the back... Is this gonna mess things up if I if I move this? No, actually, it's gonna stay in, in the same sort of uh, waterfront mode. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll just loop this out back, I guess. Can I do that? Will it fit? Looks like it will. Looks like it won't. Here, I think this path is in the way. Is 
there there we go guys that is awesome it's awesome but it's not perfect it's too bad that this we got like these edges here maybe actually what i think i'll do i'm kind of nitpicking at this point but if i do this i don't know why all these bushes get clipped in when i move it but it's just the way the cookie crumbles looks like oh shoot i didn't want to do that I guess I'll have to do one at a time here for these bushes. <laughs> there we go. And then what I'll do, I think I'll just scooch this building over. Oops, nope, that's not what I want to do. Using move it. Oh, shoot, it just brought back all those bushes. Here. there and then what i'll do over here is i will simply add a path oh no oh shoot see it's not liking i move this road and it's kind of clipping over this building now so it looks like i won't be able to add a path see i can't even go like through this here Oh, well, you know what? It's not a big deal here. I can even mask this with uh, maybe some, some bushes. And I'm going to use my line tool. So uh, let's see here. Spacing, I'll do... 8 meters. Let's even do like... I need 0.8. This is, this is a hedge now. There. And then to make this a nice wharf, let's add some palm trees. Oh, not in line tool, of course. Actually, Florida palms, yeah. There we go, guys. Now I'm I'm, I'm kind of going deep into the detailings now, but I enjoy it. This is how I like to play the game. Adding details, little things like that. There. All right. Now, what I want to do from here, this is totally, totally for looks. This is 0% functional. If I add some paths. Uh, okay, 3.75 meters, sure. Now, if I add some paths, what I'll do here is add a wharf. And actually, I'm going to go a step further. Can I build a T out here to make a sort of breakwater? Oh, yeah, I can. There. So if I do that, and then maybe I'll do... Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, it's wanting me to go 3.75 meters. It's a little high, but it's all right. I'll lower it back. There. There we go, guys. Now we got a nice breakwater here. Just remove this. 3.75 meters and... Now I can make my docks. I don't know if there's a quicker way to do this or an easier way, but it's all right. I'll just take my time. Oh yeah, it actually works better with snapping. Nice. Make everything look perfect and equal. There we go. I don't want to make anything too extravagant. Actually, using the dev mode, is there any boats? No. Ship? Yeah, there's ships, but there's no boats. Marina? No. Okay, well, it looks like this is going to be a lifeless marina for now, but that's fine. 
So I think what I'll do here is I'll put a little store and that will uh, take the place of like, you know, a little boat house. And I'll add some paths all around here. Oh, I have no commercial demand at all. <laughs> there. Uh, okay, well, it looks like... I, I never noticed. Did you guys notice when I plopped this building, it should have, like, lowered my medium density residential demand. I know that because I tested it before starting this episode. Doesn't look like it is, though. So, maybe it might have lowered it, and then my demand probably just went back up. I imagine. There, I was just hoping it was gonna kinda like stimulate the demand bars here and get some low density demand going, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be the case. There, let's get some more palm trees here. Along the coast. And there's also a lot of pine trees in Florida. So maybe I'll put some adult pine trees here too. There. Wow, guys, that is a huge upgrade. Woo, that's exciting. So not only is this building, well, it's functional. I mean, there's like a bunch of families that are living in it, uh, but it's also going to grant us plus four well-being within one kilometer. So it's going to make everybody slightly happier in this entire region and holy there's a lot of businesses that are complaining of not enough customers we got to get some more customers in here guys we got to get some more residential areas but i think this is going to be slow going i think um what i'll have to do here is i'm gonna have to build out these big neighborhoods i think and just wait until they grow into uh into like actual fully grown neighborhoods. Just fill this in with residential. There, I'll put a little bit of a commercial zone here and then in the back, I'll just load this up with more residential. Oh yeah, okay, look at that. It actually took down a lot of our medium density. Oh my god, a lot of these builds, businesses are struggling. I could expand downtown a little bit here. Maybe I can upzone just a few of these buildings. I really don't want to expand downtown that much. Why are these staying? There. <laughs> Oops, I did this building too. Uh, might as well. But yeah, I really don't want to expand this downtown more than I have to, but I guess in this case it's necessary. The demand calls for it, or at least it did. The only thing I need now is high density, but I can assure you there'll be no high density around this map. Probably not much. Um, the only high density that I imagine will be on this map is up north here. I'm actually planning to build a Sarasota type city, probably in this region. And, you know, Sarasota is a, a decently big city, I guess. You know, there's a lot of wealthy people, a lot of nice condos and stuff around that part of town. So maybe, um, maybe we'll have a little bit 
of high density some some of the shorter ones uh but yeah like nothing is building over here <laughs> but at least i'm seeing some green arrows you know there's buildings that are upgrading all over town but the town is still struggling you know we're, we're gonna have a lot of work to do guys in order to get this town to be fully functional now it's kind of funny because when i originally booted up the game this morning I had intended to build out this whole neighborhood here. Um, I was planning on making like a nice Floridian typical neighborhood featuring canals and little lakes and ponds, that kind of thing. But I mean, the fact that I had like zero residential demand or low density demand just made that impossible. So that's when I decided to work on other things. But it looks like at this point, we're kind of in, we're, we're between a rock and a hard place. Um, because I have residential demand, but the game is very adamant that I build in higher density. Um, but I don't really want to. <laughs> and uh, as a result, I mean, all of these buildings, all these businesses are struggling because there's just not enough people to support them. Uh, but I guess the best thing I could probably do to help these people out is to go in my budget menu here. And oh my God, I'm not far from being in the green. Uh, but let's maybe try, let's maybe try to give everybody a tax break here, especially the residents of town. So this is going to hurt my economic situation even more, but if I lower residential tax right down to 5%, that's going to, that's going to be enticing for people to move in. And if I lower my commercial tax as well, that should take the burden off of a lot of them. I'm going to write... I'm going to bring my commercial tax down to 3%, I think. So it's going to hurt my my bottom line here. But thankfully, uh, Big Daddy Uncle Sam is here to save the day. So if you can just hold on for a little while longer until we really start to ramp up here, I think that should help. But uh, yeah, I think lowering tax should help out these companies. And it should hopefully will uh, entice more people to move in. That would be fantastic. Here, let's get some more houses in here in the back. Near the school, I guess. Actually, the school could use a parking lot. Because this is America. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. Big old parking lot right here. There we go, guys. Well, I think this is uh, gonna. I'm gonna have to wrap things up right about now. This episode is is extending quite long, but I think we've done a fair amount of progress. You know, the town is still kind of in the same state as it was, but uh, abandonment seems to be on the mend a little bit. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, if you can think of anything that would help out the town at all in the comments, please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little perplexed right now. Uh, there's certain things I want to do, like, you know, building out these cool neighborhoods and whatnot. But at the same time, I, I'm kind of at the mercy of, of what the game wants. What I'm thinking of maybe doing next episode is I think we'll move on more inland. And uh, I'm going to start to work on some farms because my industrial demand is through the roof right now. And of course, Florida is not like a huge industrious state, right? Like there's not huge factories and stuff everywhere. It's more of an agriculture state. So lots of like uh, cattle, um, orange trees, sugar cane, that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have that in the game in our specialized industry, but I can at least put down some livestock and things like that. So I'm going to try uh, to, to push to get those, um, get those job numbers up. Maybe next episode I'll put a university as well because, you know, it's it's good that people can get up to high school level, but we're not going to get any, like, good paying jobs and some wealthy people in this town until we can provide them with a good uh, college level education. So anyways, that's to come next episode, guys. It's starting to get cloudy here in town. Looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> so I am going to uh, to send you off just like that. So I think it's time that we wrap things up. So guys, I thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this episode. Again, 
drop a comment down below give me any suggestions you think I should do and I really appreciate too by the way a lot of people have been messaging me down in the comments um, informing me of different places around Florida that I should check out for inspiration and whatnot so I really appreciate that guys I love it um, so yeah drop a comment down below don't forget to like this video also certainly don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future uploads and again guys thanks so much for watching until the next episode take care